Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the open beta tomorrow, we're going to be releasing the AGM65F or Foxtrot infrared guided Maverick. Now, earlier we released the uh, G and the D version, but those really weren't um, uh, accurate for a legacy version of the Hornet with the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. Navy. Uh, the those services uh, really only use the E version and the F version. Now, the version I'm using today in this little video is based on uh, built today on December 4th. Whereas the version uh, we'll be using tomorrow for the open beta will be built on December 3rd. So it's quite possible there may be some slight differences between what you see today and what you play with tomorrow. So to get started, we'll go ahead and we'll go uh, air to ground master mode. And here on the left EDI, we see we have four Mavericks. We'll go ahead and select them. And now we can actually step through the different uh, stations if we wish. And selecting again brings us to the Maverick format page. Uh, we see we have the Maverick selected on Station 3. We have the three different fuse types. We have a ship attack option, which will allow the crosshairs to expand to encompass a ship, as well as uh, having that missile impact on a water line to be most effective. Uh, below here, we have track white and track black. And in addition to the uh, symbology change of white and black, also what we'll do is when it's track white, the um, seeker will try to lock on to a white contrasted target, whereas if it's set to track black, it will try to lock on to a black contrasted target, but it'll default to white. And then of course, uh, we have the field of view, which is um, when it expanded out, you have the fiducial marks there in the corner. Now also to uh, slew the Maverick, we'll need to assign the TDC to the left DDI, and we'll do that by going left on the sensor, sensor control switch which is indicated here by the diamond in the corner. On the HUD, we have a little triangle, which indicates where the Maverick Seeker is actually looking in. Right now, it's foresighted, indicated by the caged uh, indication right here in the corner. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause. Now, up ahead uh, by the red smoke, I have a group of targets. And you can actually already see them now. And what we can do is we can uh, uh, zoom in by either the uh, push tile, or we can do is we can press the uh, FLIR field of view slash raid slash uh, harm sequence button on the Altitude. Altitude. Now to slew the target and lock, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to hold down the TDC button while simultaneously using the slew switch. And once we move uh, the crosshairs over the target, we'll release the TDC button and Seeker will attempt to lock on what's underneath uh, the crosshairs. So press TDC. Slew, release, lock. On the HUD, we have Maverick lock indication and rifle. So we'll come off the target here and uh, we'll head north. Now we'll get some separation between us and the target area. And what we'll do is we'll do a reattack, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to slave uh, the seeker to a target point that we can set uh, via the HSI. Now it's also important to note that here on the uh, Maverick video, this is actually using their current uh, FLIR renderer. We're still working on the uh, new one, which will be really cool, uh, but that will be swapped in at a later point. And going back to the track white, track black, uh, track black uh, it does not control the polarity of the video image. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, roll back in. And what we can do now is we can go ahead and uh, set the waypoint to weapon designate. And we do that, we can see the seeker automatically slewed to that target point. Pretty handy. Now once it's there, of course, we can zoom in. But now note you can only zoom in, zoom out when you don't have a lock. We'll zoom in. And now what we can do is we can press the undes undesignate button on the HOTAS. Now we can go ahead and slew again. And rifle. 
And back to Cage for the uh, third Maverick. So I hope this was helpful and uh, you make your process of learning the Maverick tomorrow just a little bit easier. Thanks.